I need a counterweight on the tractor. So we just got this blade. Drove up to Nebraska, kind of around Omaha to pick this one up. But we need to put some air in the tires too. Oh, but the one thing I love about this here, I'll show you. This makes it so easy to hook this up. There's a quick hitch, doesn't fit on this one. Just extend those out. Those kind of wiggle around. It's that easy, and then you just back up to the blade, and it'll automatically lock. I'll show you with this one. I'm gonna have to raise it a little bit first. Actually, I might not. Let's try. Yep, that is. You know, I sure wouldn't mind a trailer with hydraulic jacks. Ugh. I also really wish this jack right here didn't break the spring broke, so it just drops every time you pull the pin. I do it all by hand now.
Alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse up there. Well, got it here. The one thing I strongly dislike about this property is it's all these locust trees. That's all that they have. But I guess Warren's dumping all the rock over there. So I'm gonna get this load unchained and I'll come over here with the forks and pick these up. But yeah, this is what I mean by putting down the boards. That way these chains aren't straight on the blocks. Um, and all, it also holds down the entire side. Uh, obviously with the exception of this one because that funky block. But all these other ones will work great. Alrighty, so here's the job site now. Well, looks like that dump truck just smacked a tree. Um, but uh, got all our pallets of pavers here, and then we're just have to spread out this dirt pile. We'll have maybe four or five loads of clay coming in today, and then uh, on top of that clay is going to be maybe a load or two of topsoil. But we're going to raise all this up right here to about the grade of that. So it'll be all the way down there. Um, same thing up here. All this will get raised up a bit. Um, but yeah. We got all the gravel moved. Uh, so I'll have to pick up a little bit of that pile. But we'll get some of this moved around. And then uh, four or five loads of clay dumped today. It's now raining and uh, it's been raining for like the past hour and we're supposed to start on the retaining wall today and I already ran into the excavator so I guess we'll just have to dig in the mud. <laughs> I 
What are you doing there? Water in the dirt, in the rain? Yeah, dirt. Great. One storm that just kept circling around us and it just wouldn't go away um, and this is about to get really bumpy this quarry road is complete crap I mean it's absolutely terrible how many potholes are in this road uh, but it is extremely close to the job site so I can't complain anyway yesterday we had an 18 inch bucket on that excavator and we really needed a 12 inch I calculated to have a 12 inch but they, they, they didn't have any 18 inch buckets up the yard so we had to go with that 18 inch bucket so we ended up using a little bit more base rock than I planned so I'm gonna go just pick up like one more ton uh, we only have about 18 feet left on this wall um, and I think we should be okay <laughs> oh my god
that the hammer? Huh? What just flew by the hose? Uh, a piece of concrete. So it's been a well, extremely hot day. Oh my gosh. Uh, but we got this course in um, all the way down. I don't think we'll have to go any further than that. And then over here. We've got this started. So we got almost all of them in place. We got those in place and then these in place. And then I was like, why are we putting down so much gravel? So I measured from there to the bottom lip, which is gonna be the end height of our wall. And we were too high by one inch. So our last block wouldn't have fit. So we had to take them all out and all those out, pull out one inch gravel. I was already packed down and then put them all back down. Uh, so that was a pain in the butt and we're just going to go home now because we're extremely tired and we'll wrap it up tomorrow.
Well, here's where we're standing at the end of Friday with the project. We got this wall completely in. Thank goodness. So it works. It works. Works amazing. It looks fantastic. Um, and then up here, Warren's going to take all this clay right here that we imported about 75 cubic yards, put it all along the front, raise all of this up. And then on Monday, hopefully that topsoil pile will dry out a little more. We'll bring that in and uh, we'll probably import about 20 cubic yards of topsoil. Some, some screen topsoil just to put on the top. And uh, there's the wall. So that front wall looks absolutely fantastic as well. And the homeowner is going to run his own drain through there. Just kind of put an inlet there and an outlet here. We'll have to tell Warren not to do anything over here yet. But we're going to pack up and head home and uh, enjoy the weekend. And lots of progress made on this job site this week. <laughs>